This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Now, what I want to do is sort of give you an intro to the next two videos coming up for ASMR math, which is sort of um, something we're going to build on a lot more for the math and real life in the language of mathematics. Okay, and uh, basically the the series that we're going to create for math and real life is uh, the mathematics of Sufi whirling. Okay, as far as uh, how this series came to be, um, you know what we're what we plan on doing in this in this in, in these videos. Okay, now in the summers, um, for me personally and for many other people, um, what, we, what we do is we seek out music festivals. And um, this year, I ended up, you know, we had the chance to go to one music festival, and we ended up going to this music festival, and it was sort of um, a music festival along the lines of. Um, the videos that I put out in 2007-2008 for another music festival that was happening on Vancouver Island as well. It's sort of uh, electronic music festival with DJs and performance and stuff like this mixed in with live band performances, right? And a lot of activities for people to do and a lot of art embedded in there and stuff like this. So it was sort of a three-day music festival with three different stages going on and a lot of different performances and courses and lectures and talks you could go to right and one of the performances that was happening at this festival was a friend of mine that was you know scheduled in to do uh, sort of a transition when one band or one DJ was coming on and we're transitioning on to another DJ or another band and she had a little segment where she would do uh, Sufi whirling right and uh, for me uh, I've known about Sufi whirling but I've never had the opportunity to see Sufi whirling live and after seeing this thing it just blew me away uh, she did two two performances two different uh, two different nights so the first night um, where I saw this performance it just uh, really just blew me away and what I saw was a lot of patterns right a lot of mathematics involved uh, uh, in the whirling and I had talked to her before and she had told me that a Sufi whirling there's, there's a fair bit of mathematics uh, embedded within Sufi whirling so after talking um, with this friend of mine and watching her performance the first night um, we talked to uh, we talked to each other and um, you know, I told her what I was doing for math in real life, and she told me about the mathematics, all the mathematics involved in Sufi whirling, and um, she agreed uh, uh, to get together and you know have a little conversation, have a little interview, and uh, show us some of the Sufi whirling and talk to us about a little bit of mathematics involved in Sufi whirling. Okay, and the next two videos are those. Okay, the first one is going to be. An interview we have, like we sat down. Her name is Farima, by the way. Uh, so Farima was kind enough to sit down with us and, you know, give us the lowdown of Sufi whirling and tell us um, how this thing came to be and what it's all about. And in the next video, the one following it, in the second video, we're going to go into the studio with her and she's going to show us uh, some of the different techniques, some of the different dances uh, that she does specifically for Sufi whirling, right? And um, one, little, uh, one, one little bit of info regarding this, uh, uh, this series that we're putting together, which is going to you know, overlap with the math in real life and ASMR math and kick into uh, trigonometry. And if you've been following the trig videos after you've watched the interview and what we do in the studio, you'll see how that relates uh, to the trigonometry material that we're creating with cyclic functions and circles and whatnot, right? And hopefully we can take some of the stuff that we do, um, some of the mathematics of Sufi whirling and overlap that with uh, the trigonometry material and possibly create some exercises and solutions for uh, the trigonometry content on the side and you know the booklet and exercise and solutions that we're going to create for that material, right? Uh, but since Frema lives in California and I live in British Columbia, uh, what we've agreed to do is whenever she comes into my area and she comes into my area at least once, twice, possibly three times a year to do either performances of festivals or hold sort of retreats 
um, dance retreats, may they be Sufi whirling or other types of dance, right? Um, so she's agreed and we've decided that whenever she's going to come into town, we're going to get together and we're going to build a little bit more content um, for the mathematics of Sufi whirling and see how we can overlay that with uh, basically a series that we're going to create for math in real life and overlap that stuff uh, with the stuff that we're going to do for trigonometry. Uh, so that's where we are with this um, with this series, the mathematics of Sufi whirling. That's, that's what we've done so far, which is basically shoot a video. Me and Freem have talked a fair bit about it. And, uh, you know, we've gone into the studio and shot some video of um, some of the some of the dances that she does. Uh, hopefully next time um, when she performs at the festival, maybe I'll get a chance to uh, shoot that as well and show you how this looks like with the live band playing and with the lights and magnificent costumes and, uh, you know, just the atmosphere uh, of the festival, of the performance. And um, we'll see what we can do to build the content slowly to introduce some of the concepts that we will talk about in the, in the, in, in the interview and what you'll see happen in the studio and some of the stuff that we've already talked about in uh, trigonometry, right? So there's a lot of overlapping here and layering. Um, and that's sort of the long-winded introduction to the next two videos coming up. And it's gonna be an open-ended uh, sort of series uh, discussion and hopefully we can build it up um, over the next year, two, three, four, however long it takes to sort of delve deep into this, um, this idea, this concept, and uh, understand uh, well uh, what happens, how the mathematics of Sufi whirling are related, how that overlaps. Okay. Um, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. One thing I forgot to ask you during the, when we were talking was uh, you mentioned that some people whirl for hours. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, there is a saying that we only whirl for 72 hours. Wow. Yeah. Wow, really? So, so, yeah, people, you can whirl for 24 hours and you, once you're into that state of ecstasy, you're in sleep mode. Yeah. So um, it could be dangerous because you can fall into that sleep mode and so someone has to wake you up, but you have to also train your brain to wake up because once you go into that sleep mode, then you can go on and on yeah. and on, yeah. So there, are, yeah, people do whirl for hours and wow. hours and hours, yeah. Wow, 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 that's cool. I mean, four or five hours is nothing. Four hours is nothing. No, people will whirl for, like I said, like 12 hours, 24 hours. Wow. Yeah. Wow, incredible. Yeah. incredible. What's the longest you've done? The longest I've done is four and a half hours. Four and a half hours yeah. of work? Yeah, four and a half hours. Wow, wow. Yeah. Um, cool. Straight. I mean, I have done where like I would take a break for 10 minutes, come back, or wait for, you know, five minutes, and I, I went on for like almost 12 hours. Yeah. But straight without stopping, four and a half hours. Four and a half hours yeah. of work. Wow. Yeah. What was, it, what was it like when you came out of that? It's, it's, it's very different. I mean, sometimes you cry because like, emotional yeah, release. you're very emotional when you come out of it. Sometimes you're very happy. It really depends on what you see because you start to see images. You start to hear things. Everything just becomes, you're completely, you know, you know, it's, I can't explain it. Yeah, it's a trance. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, yeah. You've, you've it's like being high and you come out of being yeah. high and like, okay, I'm in this reality and I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. So you're, bore, you're bearing your soul. You all your yeah, guards are down. Yeah. All your walls yeah. are down. It's yeah. um, I mean, in the Sufi tradition, they do say it's like death. You're dead, and then you have to come back. And sometimes dead people don't like to come back. Yeah, you know, sometimes. they don't like to come back. They yeah. like what they see there. So, yeah. um, it's it's a it's a state of state of being. Being. So sometimes I get very emotional and I just cry. Yeah. Or sometimes people have said that I was screaming while I was whirling. Um, some people said that I've been laughing when I was whirling. And I don't, I don't know any of this. You don't remember? No, I don't remember any of this. Wow. 
but um, there are videos of me that I'm clapping and dancing while I'm whirling and I don't remember any of it. Wow. Um, there's, I mean, like I said, I, people said you were screaming and saying na names and I don't remember any. So you're in a sleep mode. In a trance, yeah. in a trance. That's remember. cool. That's where the shamanistic aspect of yeah, it comes from yeah, a lot. Yeah. And spiritual, all spiritual mythology yeah. and yeah. contemporary religions, I yeah. guess. Okay, cool. um, I forgot to tell you about the head, but we can do that later. And then the, the line of the head connected with the heart and going... Oh, wow. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen, that's some of the yeah. ones I've seen, right? Yeah. Yeah. The head is, is one of the most important part of the body that actually makes you go into trance. Mm 